Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Let the governor be received. For Rick Scott, his final state of the state was bittersweet, invoking a rare bit of humor from the governor. I know how disappointed you all must be that you won't get to hear another great speech like this. The governor shared credit for creating a million and a half jobs since he took office. The, respo the results speak for themselves. Scott is also proposing the smallest tax cut in his eight years, just $180 million. He wants a three-week sales tax holiday for hurricane and back-to-school supplies. After the storms we experienced last year, we need to have a longer sales tax holiday so people have time to buy the supplies they need. He's also proposing to cut the cost of renewing a driver's license from $48 to $20. My dad was a truck driver, and if he had extra money back in his pocket, in my family, that would have been a big deal. The governor is also calling for more protection for sexual harassment victims. It comes as two married state senators admitted to an affair captured on video. It's very important that we all stand together and send a very strong message. Florida stands with victims. One of the first fights lawmakers are likely to face is over school funding. Scott is pushing a nearly 3% increase in school funding. He finances it with the cash from higher property tax values, but the House is drawing a line in the sand. The Florida House will never support raising taxes. The school funding issue has the potential to be the most divisive issue of the coming 60 days. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.